This is a celebration of cooperation, of, of elbow to elbow, being together on the ground and making things happen. And all of these agency folks and the, the folks that have participated in this and that are here today, this is a special moment. This special moment saw the recovery of the black-footed ferret take several steps forward as 25 of the endangered animals were released on SB Ranch in northern Arizona. The ferrets were welcomed onto this working cattle ranch because of a safe harbor agreement, a special provision of the Endangered Species Act that allows private landowners to conserve endangered species on their property with minimal impact to the use of their land. You know, when you, when you have folks like this with a conservation ethic they do, again, they're gonna welcome having endangered species on their property and they're gonna be proud of that, and they should be, and they shouldn't get punished for it, and that's why we work so well with folks like this. Well, I think it's exciting that there's a safe harbor agreement that allows private landowners to participate uh, in, in these types of projects. Because I think there are a lot of landowners who would like to, but you certainly don't want to feel restricted by any issues of liability or things that may happen that weren't your fault or, you know, just, you know, all of the perception that may go along with having endangered species on your property. And the safe harbor agreement that, you know, that we're a part of today really releases you from basically all of those type of things. And that way, when we can feel good about our support, our participation, we can feel open and free to learn about it uh, and see where it goes. Successful ferret recovery also depends on a healthy prairie dog population, which is the ferret's primary prey. To help ensure that SB Ranch maintains a robust prairie dog population, a new vaccine field trial was also begun in conjunction with the ferret release. For the past 10 years has been um, doing research to tr try and develop an oral vaccine that we can deliver to prairie dogs to protect them from sylvatic plague as well as the black-footed ferrets that depend on those prairie dogs. The vaccine will be delivered in the form of peanut butter flavored bait left on the doorstep of known prairie dog burrows. We tried very various different flavors, blueberry and, and so forth, but peanut butter by, was, was the biggest winner by far. But who doesn't like peanut butter, right? Oh, it's very exciting to be testing in the field. Like I said, we have you know, 10 to 12 years of research in the laboratory, developing the vaccine, making sure it was safe for lots of different species, all, all kinds of rodents, ferrets, even cattle. Um, so we're very excited to now be testing it in the field in a natural setting. The recovery of the black-footed ferret was one that almost didn't happen. By the 1970s, they were thought to be extinct until a small population was discovered in Matitsi, Wyoming in 1981. Biologists monitored the colony until a disease outbreak in 1985 wiped out all but 18 ferrets. At that point, the survivors were captured and a breeding program began to try to save the species. We're helping contribute to national recovery. So we have the, the Arbery Valley population and we're trying to establish a second site up here on the Espy Ranch, and ultimately the goal will be to establish a third site. The descendants of the original 18 ferrets have now been reintroduced into 21 recovery sites in the western United States, Canada, and Mexico. One of the first sites was Aubrey Valley near Seligman. Game and fish biologists, along with a group of volunteers, count the nocturnal ferrets twice a year and the latest survey showed at least 100 adult ferrets at the Aubrey Valley site, which is now considered a self-sustaining population. Because we don't have large tracts of prairie dogs, that many left anymore, they're going to smaller acreages of prairie dogs, and we need that private landowner support, which we have up here with Babbitts. So Babbitt Ranches, uh, you know, their values definitely drive them towards conservation. So for us to participate in things like uh, the release of black-footed ferret, or sylvatic plague vaccine, you know, uh, tests on the prairie dogs or many other types of projects, you know, those fit in perfectly with what uh, our decision models are, uh, with what our values are, uh, and uh, that sense of responsibility and obligation to the land, you know, so that when we're done at the end of the day, we feel very good about it. Establishing this new recovery site was possible only because of the cooperation of many different groups coming together to benefit not only an endangered species, but to build relationships for future conservation. You know, we talk about partnerships and it almost becomes cliche. No question, the black-footed ferret recovery is an epic 
conservation success story. But what it really is founded in are shared values, shared values between governmental agencies, federal and state, shared values with Native American nations, shared values with the family that's honored to be stewards of land that they've owned for many, many generations. Ha, 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 ha.